before the 1820s, vast portions of the United States west of the Mississippi River remained uncharted, sparsely inhabited, and unknown. For our young nation to develop, great expanses had to be covered, and a trail system would evolve for travelers. Emigrants and merchants set out by trail on an arduous journey lasting months. Their journey would face enormous hardship, but more often than not, the result was great reward. As the 19th century progressed, the United States would be transformed as major overland trails developed to take hundreds of thousands of merchants, explorers, adventurers, and emigrants to new lands out west. These major trails would all start in the Kansas City area and pass through present-day Johnson County. In 1821, at the very time of Mexico's independence from Spain, William Becknell, along with five companions, went southwest from Franklin, Missouri, to Santa Fe, located in Old Mexico, or the present-day state of New Mexico. The reason for the journey, Becknell would later say, was, Trading for horses and mules and catch wild animals of all sorts of descriptions. Two and a half months after leaving Missouri, and after narrowly avoiding starvation, Becknell and his companions completed their arduous 800-mile journey to Santa Fe. After selling his goods, Becknell returned to Missouri and news of the lucrative trip spread quickly, encouraging more to follow his lead. William Becknell is now considered the father of the Santa Fe Trail. The Santa Fe Trail was the first of the great routes. Merchants going to sell and trade in Santa Fe would travel over two months one way on the 800-mile trail. The Santa Fe Trail was mainly a trade route. The Oregon Trail had been first traveled by fur trappers as far as Wyoming and Idaho. Starting in 1841, a few wagon trains used the trail all the way to Oregon, slowly crossing the rough, wild expanse. The first significant wagon train on the Oregon Trail was in 1843, called the Great Migration, when nearly 1,000 emigrants, with countless wagons and thousands of animals, sought a new life in the fertile Willamette Valley of Oregon. Settlers were able to receive 640 acres of free land per couple and 320 for individuals. Additional emigrants poured into that valley over the next few years eager to settle the free land. The first wagon train to California was the 1841 Bidwell Bartleson Party, which left the Sapling Grove Campground in what would become eastern Johnson County. They followed the Oregon Trail to just west of Fort Hall, Idaho, where they branched off to California. In 1848, discovery of gold in California led to the 1849 Gold Rush. The California Trail was packed that year and wagon trains continued the rush through the 1850s. Most of the emigrants on the Oregon or California trails walked the whole way. Their wagons were full of supplies and they had not nearly enough horses for everyone. Independence, Missouri was founded in 1827. The landing on the Missouri River, just four miles north of the town, was used for travelers and merchants going west. In 1834, John McCoy built a trading post on the edge of his father's farm. McCoy also discovered a rock landing five miles to the north on the Missouri River near the confluence of the Missouri and Kansas Rivers. He called it Westport Landing. It was a natural landing that allowed riverboats to dock and unload supplies. This landing would become the birthplace of Kansas City. Traders and freighters departing on the Santa Fe Trail used both the towns of Independence and Westport for purchasing supplies, wagons, oxen, mules, and horses. By the early 1850s, all Oregon and California Trail emigrants were embarking from farther north on the Missouri River, with the Santa Fe Trail in this region remaining active until the 1860s, mostly on the Westport route. Inns and lodging houses sprang up along the trails. One of these was owned and operated by Olathe farmers James and Lucinda Mahaffey. By 1865, 
They had built a large stone home and prepared up to 100 meals a day for travelers, mostly on stagecoaches by that time. The glory days of the trails were soon consumed in a puff of smoke. By the mid-1860s, railroads were already being constructed west from Kansas City and would soon cross the nation. Exhausting journeys that took months by trail could now be completed in mere days, seated in the comfort of a rail car pulled by a steam locomotive. Today, across Johnson and Jackson County, signs, markers, and wayside exhibits remind and educate visitors about the significance of these national historic trails. Numerous historic sites are featured along these routes. In Olathe, sites include Lone Elm Park and the Mahaffey House. South of Gardner lies the Gardner Junction Park, and in Fairway, residents can visit the Shawnee Indian Mission. Drivers can also follow local route tour signs and accurately retrace the historic frontier trails in our area. Let us not forget the role that Kansas City, Johnson County, and Olathe played in the westward expansion of our nation. The national trail system allowed us to be a nation from sea to shining sea. Mm -hmm.